Look at. Wow, like that. That's messed up. If everything's going good right now, then just cut out all the negativity in your life. I'm talking about Eddie. Like, if you want to sack stupid, lose you, that's his fault, you know? Mm -hmm. Just drop him. So today I'm at Gypsy and Jelsea's house and I am actually going to be doing a photo shoot with them for Motif. And I'm really excited just because this is like another moment where I can, you know, kind of do something on my own. Hello. Hello. Hey, where are you? Since Eddie's going to be a part of it today, I mean, right now me and Eddie are like the big deal. I mean, everybody wants to know what Eileen and Eddie are up to. So I think it would be good in a business way for us to, you know, have this photo shoot. I'm stuck in traffic right now, but I'll be there probably like another, give me like another hour. There's so much traffic, so I'm like just stuck in here waiting for the car. An hour? It's just like, I guess if I was more of a priority, he would be there, like an on point. Okay, whatever, bye. So I haven't seen Eddie since our last date, and I still kind of see him posting with other girls. At this point, I really can't tell if they're like their friends or not. Like it's just, it's just weird. Oh my god, yes. This is how I wanted it. Mm -hmm. That's so cute. Listo, vamos a comenzar. ¿eh? Cada tres disparos cambias la pose. Okay. Okay. So the photo shoot just started, but I feel like I'm missing something today, and I know what's missing, and it's my mom. It's just like in the back of my mind, I'm like, I know I need her here, but I'm still trying to like be strong for myself. Are you uh, nervous? A little bit. A little bit. Yeah. Okay. I need more guidance. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. Necesita más. No sabe. Like, ¿cómo me poso? Oh, ok, solo ponte como de lado, ponte de lado, la pierna, ok, y voltea esta parte de arriba hacia mí. Eh, ahí está. It's hard to be confident during these shoots. Generally, like in these shoots, my mom is always there to, you know, hype me up or like let me know if I look good or like position me or tell me how to pose this way. And I was definitely like really nervous because I was on my own and it just doesn't make it any better that Eddie's running late and I have to do this by myself. Vamos, Aileen. Actitud. Actitud. Toda conmigo, voltea. Abre, abre, ajá. Manos a la cintura. Las dos. Una, una. Esta baja, relájala. I feel like if my mom was there to let me know how I was looking, I wouldn't have, I don't know, felt uncomfortable. <sighs> got it. Hi, I'm here, guys. I'm here. I'm sorry I'm late. I'm sorry I'm late. What's up, guys? What's up? Hey. I'm sorry I'm late. You look beautiful. You look beautiful. Thank you. Sorry. Finally, you're here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So Eddie finally shows up, and he just looks stupid. Like, he's just, like, running in. He doesn't even have his tie on. Like, he's just, like, rushing. He just makes me look bad to Gypsy because I, you know, I brought him here to the photo shoot. That was just unprofessional. Míralo, Aileen. Míralo. Look at him. Aquí está pasando algo. Mm. No hay conexión, no hay química. She's no saying hay... that there's no yeah. chemistry. I know. You got it? Okay. <laughs> ¿Qué pasa? It's just embarrassing that, you know, the photographer is telling us that we have, like, no chemistry, we're just gonna look like idiots. All right, so yeah, I don't think there's, like, any chemistry at all, like, even if there is uh -huh. something going on or there's not going mm -hmm. on. I think, like, for the photos, we gotta kind of, like, play it off. You guys just put me in a position and I'll do it. Tell me what but to do. But I think it has a lot to do with, like, eye contact, oh, okay. face. <laughs> so, okay. so. Right now, at this moment, I do definitely feel like it's just a job and I have to work to keep it, just like any other job. And it's not like anything natural and I just feel like it's not gonna go anywhere good. You feel pressure to be with him? I, I do, no, yeah, I do. What? I just, I don't know, it's just, everybody, <laughs> stop, why? Come in, why? why? It sucks because I feel like it's just like, like there's like a level like, as a human, like you just don't like do something to, like hurt them and then at the end of the day to like have all these things constantly happen to you behind your back it makes you feel like because i'm like okay is this all i'm good for like this you know like only when 
it's convenient to you because even like off camera like when we like hang out alone or like when we run into each other at a party like he just like comes up to me and like like kisses me and stuff and you know it just makes me feel some type of way like why do you on camera you act like an <laughs> to me but like behind the scenes you know you obviously still want something to do with me like you just play me i feel like i don't deserve that <laughs> Jálale, Aileen. Jálale, jálale. Oh, Ahí está. Gracias. They actually came out cute. I was stressing out all day because I thought I looked back. <laughs> Sorry, and then I told them, look how cute they are, and he didn't even answer me. <laughs> okay, let me get myself back together. Stop. Okay, everybody got seatbelts okay, on. Okay, we're ready. Can you put your seatbelt on? Yeah. So today we're having a little family getaway. I feel like we've all been super busy lately and you know, it's a good moment to have some bonding time. Aren't you guys excited that we're going on this trip finally? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm not oh, come wow. on. Man. Really guys? Bob, we got to bed so early. So me and Armando are just not excited for today. I am just really out of it. I mean, so is he. <gasps> Look who finally came out. Man, I'm so annoyed. I, they dragged me out of bed up in the morning and I cherish my sleep a lot. I, I feel like every time my mom wants to go on a trip or something and like just when we have to wake up early and she has like the most energy out of all of us, it's like, girl, relax. Cause we're just not, we're not warning people. This is a trip where we get to relax. Gonna Just have a good fine. time. Everyone's got plans coming up, and you know, there's this is a good opportunity for us to to be together and hang out as a family. But right. your dad and I were thinking about one rule, babe. Tell me a rule that you, you told me about. This might come as a shock to some of you guys. The Wi-Fi is really, really bad. So there's like really no point in you guys even having your phones. So. Well, basically, uh, we're collecting your guys' phones right now. Yeah, that's going to be one of the rules phone. that you're no, stuck. You're, oh, no, you're using yeah, the Wi-Fi no. as an excuse. Yeah, Dad. No, 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 no. Well, what no, spot no, doesn't no, have no, Wi-Fi? No, no. no you're, Okay, you're, Armando. You're, you're, Armando and Eileen. No. So, for now, we need your guys' phones, and we're no. being serious. I'm sorry, Mom, but I need my phone. I'm Mando? I need my phone, too. That no cell phone rule, it's not going to last. I don't know why my mom thinks that she's going to be able to take our phones. How are you going to keep a Gen Z away from their phone? I need it, it's business. I'm always on my phone all the time. I have emails that I'm waiting for that I have to reply to that she's not gonna reply to, so why does she need my phone? We can't even go an hour without our phones. There's no way. We're gonna have to try to get them back somehow. What if Armando needs to text like his girlfriend? Nah, no. Hey, 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 hey. Why, who are you gonna, you, who are you gonna text, Mondo? Obviously, Natalie. <gasps> Whoa. Oh. Okay. Yeah. It's supposed to be a family time moment and Armando is trying to text Natalie. I'm a little annoyed about that. Give me your guys' phones right now. I'm being serious, guys. Hold on. Armando, you know okay, you're- Okay, Mom, fine. Okay, give me your phone. Oh my God. I'm literally an adult now. She kicked me off the phone bill like maybe a year ago. Why is she taking my phone if she doesn't even pay for it? I pay for it. I should have told her that, but I'm so dumb I didn't even realize it. So Armando, are you guys, uh, are you in reality like an item or something? Or what's going on with that? I mean, we're trying to, you know, see like, where it goes, but mom has been crazy. Well, so, you gotta Natalie, so Natalie yeah. is like tr holding back because mom. Yes. So mom, exactly. you're cock fucking them, and you're basically you're basically. Them. <laughs> I don't <laughs> they did say that I was a <laughs> blocker. That's not true. I'm just trying to have some family time. That's not the point here. You know, we haven't gone like a step further in our relationship because I have a crazy mother. Yeah. And it's true, and she tells me. She's like, you, I don't know. I feel like I need a blessing from your mom because I feel like we're not on good terms. Well, I have my reasons, so you guys can't push me to do something well, I'll, if I'm I'll, not comfortable I'll, I'll, with. I'll, I feel like I really need to talk to my mom about this. Like, it's already at this point too much. Like, she's keeping me from going on a date with somebody. Like, that's just too extra. And I need to stop it now. Ma, how many more minutes? Are we there yet? No, we're not there yet. Okay, you guys ready to see the house? It's a very nice house. Come in. 
It's like a vintage house. It's a vintage house. All right. It's just like not my vibe. Like we're literally in the middle of nowhere. There's no reception. There's no Wi-Fi. I mean, it's like scary, like creepy. I mean, the house is like nice, I guess, but it's kind of just like so like ugh. Okay. So this is your room. Oh, actually, this is yours and Armando's room. Oh, I did. Did forget to mention something. This is your yeah. guys' room. This is the room. We got bunk beds. Yeah. And it's only, come on, guys. It's only for like the weekend. Yeah. We're so. not like five years old. Yeah. There was a bunk bed. Like, I don't know. When me and Eileen were very young, we had two beds in the same room. And it's been like how many years? 10 plus years we haven't slept with each other in the same room. Like, there's no way. I, I don't like it. I'm not cool with that. No. Yeah, this is definitely the last place that I want to be at right now. Let's go check out the rest of the let's house. Go, let's go check out in the backyard. All right, Elena, tell your vlog what we are doing today or right now. We are doing a tour and pictures. We're going to do some Instagram pictures sure. for Elena. I have a new client. She has a lot of potential. She's very outgoing. She listens to me and uh, she likes taking pictures. So this is the vibe, OK? All right. You are going to be like this, like, oh, I'm about to open the chicken. Cool. Yeah, but there's no chickens. I know. She's definitely easier to work with compared to my previous clients. Um, Elena, Elena just has the funniest personality. She's so cute. Ooh, there you oh, go. I like that. Okay, maybe put your hand on the thing. Like, oh, I'm just right here trying to open the chicken coop. <laughs> I'm right here trying to open oh, up the, the chicken, chicken coop. coop. Oh, where is the chicken? Look, oh, like I that, like that. Ready? Actually, I like that. Put the other one too on the wings. I'll put the other one down. There you go. Alina does very well with my forward direction. Uh, I was wondering if I could take pictures of you too. Okay, you All can right. take a picture of us. Where do you want to take it? Um, next to the barn over there. Okay. okay. All right. Good. So, mom, that's actually a cute pose. So. Okay, pick it. Now, mom, maybe if you kiss dad on the cheek. Elena always has an idea. Every time we're on set, she always has an idea, either pranking or getting creative with something or even just expressing herself. She knows, you know, how to put her point across when she's on film. Do I look awkward? Yeah. What do you want me to do? Just like something, something cute. I really appreciate that. Like, she's really good, honestly. This girl has a lot of potential, I'm telling you. Okay, get some cute pictures, more pictures. I, I really like the uh, direction you're taking us here. Well, you know what? I'm gonna get on my Roblox account right now. Uh, hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute. What do you mean? Hey, the rule is no phones, girl. Give me back my phone. Goodbye. Give me back my phone. Hey, come here. <laughs> Just like that. Halina. Oh. <laughs> me too, bro. I'm I mean, I know we're at a vacation and everything, but like, was a vacation without your phone, you know? Yeah, like, what if I want to Snapchat where I'm at? I'm literally, like... I know, I'd even post where I was at or nothing, bro. Exactly, especially me. I gotta update my followers. I literally can't do that because we don't have our phones. So me and Armando are bored as right now because, like, we have no source of entertainment. We're in the middle of nowhere. Probably getting so many text messages right now. I literally want to yell at her. Hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? Roblox. So Alina comes in with my mom's phone. Immediately, like, I'm just like, boom, like, I got you. Like, I have an idea. Wait, hold on. I have an idea. Get the phone. Wait, do we have the same idea here? What? What is your idea? Call our phone. And then you know, hold on. Have it, have it on the roof. Right here. Come here, Kia. Kia did it. He was yeah. the one who did Kia it. Kia wasn't that good. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we're blaming hey. on Kia. Yeah. I am definitely going to get to the bottom of where my phone is. This is nice, babe. I'm gonna tell you, I would trade everything I have to enjoy this peace and quiet. <laughs> this is like completely here. open. Oh, this is so cool, guys. Look. Horse stable. Yeah, it smells like horse too. Hold on. All right, shh, shh, come on. Let's go. Wait, what are you guys doing? Nothing, no, nothing. Actually, yeah, whatever. Don't come on, but we're But that's not the right thing to no. do really embarrassing that I have to say this, but it's really hard for you without my phone. Because I constantly just have to check like what's going on, like who's texting me, what's going on in like my emails, like what's going on in the world. Like I just have to like be on it. And when I'm like not hearing from anyone, it makes me like feel like uncomfortable, like this weird like vibe. So right. What are you guys doing? Can you hear it? 
But it's a really nice place though, right? I love it, baby. It's like Thank super you. quiet. It's, it's in the middle of like nowhere. Yeah, I felt like we needed this. We need this getaway. Away from You know, with everyone. I feel like we've been so busy lately and there's so many things going on with these kids. Oh my God, it's, it's like a full-time job. Mm -hmm. You think though they will really like hold off and not using their phone? Mom, search, start searching. Search under the clothes. Search in the... Let me look through here. Mom, let me look through this thing right here. Oh, this isn't even open. So much time closing. <gasps> the three is an Look at this. Oh, let's go. Hey. Yeah, yeah. And it was like I don't even had to try. The phones were in the drawer. Like, come on. It was super easy to find the phones. Girl, we don't need you anymore. Hey. Oh, Look at that. Look at how many phone, messages bro. I got. Uh, this, I get three selfies, bro. So hey. Hey. I'm, a, I'm recording this. Girl, watch I'm out. recording on it. Oh. Armando wants to talk to Natalie. Oh. I just can't seem to get over it, babe. I don't know. I mean, I talked to her last week, but. I still feel like I haven't been able to like really move on and give like the little blessing of them talking. Like I don't know. Is it something that's bothering you or what? No, I don't think at this point it's just letting my son like officially date. You know. This is what it feels like. It's like yeah. how when we were dating, our moms were super protective, overprotective of us. You know what? You're right. You know, like remember we, we were dating, walking around, and you would hold my hand. What would my mom do sometimes? Where She'd she? be she come over and grab my other hand, right? Mm -hmm. It's just like, it's just motherly love, right? I feel like there is a lot of similarities when I was dating Rick and his mom kind of felt probably the same way I felt. And I, I didn't understand her then, but now I understand her and I appreciate that for her because she was trying to scare away the bad ones and I stayed. <laughs> but is it okay if I'm still very overprotective of my son even though I give him the blessing? Y yes. Because your mom's still like that with you. She babies you. Yeah, I know she does. <laughs> I feel like that moment right there, we really needed that. I feel like I needed him to tell me and reassure me that it's okay and to, again, ease up on Armando. So you're telling me that it's, I should be okay with Armando, like, taking it a step forward with her? The only way we're going to find out how he does, just to kind of let him, right? Mm -hmm. And then what are we here for? Just to give him advice. Okay, I guess, babe. You're way. gonna be just fine. <laughs> You're giving me love eyes and those eyes melt me. I know. Um... <laughs> Arik is so cute. I think I love him more than ever. We just go through so much and just seeing our kids get older, it's a big deal for us. Dude, finally, we have oh. our phones. I like literally... We're hiding from our phones so they don't see it. <laughs> need it. This little like break on my phone. Oh yes, all of us are. What? Sick. Oh, that picture was cute. I know. I just hate going on Instagram. Uh-huh. And like getting stupid messages all the time. Like I get the dumb. But like who? Time. I just get like a lot, and some of them are like Damn. so unexpected. And like the worst ones that I literally could ever get uh -huh. is when people send me pictures of Eddie with other every single time. Oh, huh? really? Look at it, literally. That's why I'm not even surprised. Look at. Wow, like that. That's messed up, bro. And that was five. Today? Mm -hmm. So this is like recent, recent, huh? Yeah. And why is he hanging out with another girl? Well, no, I don't really know. I wish I could tell you too. I wish I had the answer, but it's just literally like. Well, then just drop him. I mean, if he's going to be talking okay. to another girl while he's talking to you, just drop him. I feel like Eddie's not putting enough effort to Eileen. And I feel like Eileen shouldn't be putting in any effort to Eddie because if he's not giving anything, then there's no point in even having him. And he was being an a-hole too. He was like, kind of messing with my sister's feelings. That's just not cool. Like nobody should be doing that. I'm not the type of person to have like an issue with someone and just let it be. Like I need to- Squash it basically. Squash or it or like get, get closure. Literally just with everybody in my life right now, that's what I need. Like. I need to talk to mom. I need to talk to Eddie. Like I need to clear things up with both of them because those are like my main yeah. problems right now. So I just feel like I need to talk to mom, like and have um, a conversation with her. If everything's going good right now, then just cut out all the negativity in your life. You don't really. But need I it. can't cut mom off. Well, obviously you can't cut mom off. You know, mom is mom. But I'm talking about Eddie. Like if you want to act stupid, lose you. That's his fault. You know. Mm -hmm. You don't right. need that. You don't need that negative energy, bro. You don't. I know. 
My mother's telling me that I should just drop Eddie, and honestly, it's probably like the best thing to do right now. Hold up, let me get it together. We want to work with you. <gasps> it's a management company. This is something right here. You know how I've been looking for one for a yeah. minute now. I'm gonna finally reach back to me. Wait, I'm kind of excited, but wait, hold on, let me get myself together. Today I officially got like, I guess I got the official email because once I read it, I was like, okay, this is like the real deal. It was really exciting because I didn't, I didn't know how soon it was gonna come at me and I had already been struggling with, you know, trying to find a management company and trying to get rid of my mom and this and that. So this kind of just felt like right. I'm just confident that they can give me new opportunities and new opportunities that like, I've already had in the past before. Do it, bro. Uh, I feel like mom is, mom helped us a lot. I, know, I, I feel like she's, a, she's holding us down right to, now. I know, but this is just a lot to think about. And mom is like, I'm probably gonna get offended and I'll, oh my god, this is just like another thing on my plate. So this is really exciting that I got the email and I kind of just wanna read it on my own and kind of really just take it in on my own, away from everybody and think about it without having anybody around me. I have a lot of really big decisions to make, a lot to think about. I mean, life comes at you like, just like piled up. I really have a lot on my plate and a lot to figure out. Definitely going into the wild, literally into the wild, having to figure out, you know, this whole situation with a, getting a new manager and getting rid of the toxic F boy in my life. Hi, Hey. Honestly, I'm not even gonna waste your time. Like, I just needed to let you know. I feel like we're just wasting time with each other. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching my show. Make sure to like and subscribe for more episodes of Growing Up Eileen.